That's him, All brother. Right. How is everybody today? Good. We literally talked to the nature gods and said to them, we want to get the best possible weather today for Kids Club Day. So I think we, I think we won. I think we got Definitely. Today, right? 80 degrees. Pretty good. Well, I want to thank you all first for giving me the first standing ovation I've ever received in my life. So thank you very much for that. It's a great way to start off my weekend. And uh, I want to welcome you all to Beth Page Ballpark. Is there anybody who hasn't been to the ballpark before today? That's what I thought. How many of you have not been to a game yet this year? Right. Yes. Pretty impressive stuff. First half Liberty Division champions, second half Liberty Division champions. We start the postseason this Tuesday. We don't know where yet, though. Could be in High Point, could be in New Britain. We'll wait and see, uh, depending on what happens this weekend. But we'll be back here next Friday for being three of the Liberty Division Championship Series. And then if we make it to our fourth straight Atlantic League Championship Series, we'll be back here on October the 1st. So pretty exciting times right now for the Long Island Ducks. Some quick info about the ballpark before I take you around. This is a 6,002 seat ballpark. We opened up on April 28th of 2000. First game ever in franchise history. It was against the National Pride. 20 seasons later, we're still here, and I'd say the ballpark still looks pretty darn good. That's a hard, uh, hard work, a lot of great, great performances by the folks in Suffolk County, by our great sponsors here, and of course, our hardworking staff including our groundskeeper who's out there in center field right now, making sure the field is ready for tonight's game against the high school and Rockers. Sprinklers um, in the field. We have a few different group areas. I'm going to take you to a few of them. Has anybody done a group, a group out in here in the ballpark before, outside of just coming for a game? Yeah, so you know down the left field line, you'll see it in a little while, but all the way down the left field line is our picnic area. That's where groups of 50 or more or 100 more, depending on whether you're doing a pregame or an in-game picnic. We enjoy a 90 minute all you can eat picnic. Also, let's get tickets to the game. We also have our smoking owls party deck area, which is a little bit closer to the field along the left field line. That's an area that we reserve for groups of 40 or 50. They can rent that area out for the game. They can put catering packages in there as well. It's a nice exclusive area that they can have for the whole game. And a really good place for foul balls if you're bringing a group out to the ballpark. But we also sell group outings throughout the entire rest of the ballpark as well. You can see one of our new features for this year. We actually have one on each side. Down the right field line, which you kids can enjoy later on, is our fun zone. So our fun zone features three brand new playables that we opened up this year. The ducktail slide, our bounce house, and our obstacle course. All three of those are brand new equipment that we just opened up this year. Great opportunity for kids to bounce around and have some fun for the game. Down the left field line this year, we did get our new adult zone. So the adult zone is an area, obviously, for adults. Mom and dad can go down there. We have a lot of craft beer and wine available. We have cornhole games. It's a nice area to get a good bird's eye view for the game. Down the left field line and be able to enjoy some fun while you're at the ballpark as well. Do I have any other questions about the ballpark before we start to make our way to our first location? Yes, go ahead, buddy. Yep. So we're right now on the third later, base later. side of the ballpark, and a little later we're going to go over to the first base side. The home side is cool. First base side is the home side, and that's the coolest side of the ballpark. Who's ready to check out the press box? Yeah. I'd say let's let everybody fill in back here first. We'll talk things Follow over. He says, just like school. Yeah. All right. This is not our announcing place. I'll show you where it is, but this is where one of our announcers sit. So I'll, I'll explain kind of who sits in here and what goes on in here first, and then you kids will get a chance to go in there, actually yourselves, and and test some stuff out. Yeah, that's a lot of them. And Jack and nice. Good start to your collection. So everybody, let's just take a couple more steps in just so we can make sure we get everybody into the press box here. <coughs> yeah, it's the wheel. That's where the visitors go. On. It's the visitors. The visitors announcers. This is the visitors announcers. Brown right. Bear, we good? We got everybody Brown Bear? We good? All right. So everybody, welcome inside the press box. This is kind of the beating heart of the ballpark on a game day, uh, on a game day basis. 
So from here, a lot of different things happen. This is where our promotions department is centered during the course of the game. We have some of our promotion staff that's down on the field and helping out with some of our in-between inning contests, making sure we have our sponsors that are throwing ceremonial first pitches, uh, taking our birthday parties up on the dugout. But in here is where a lot of the stuff that you hear and see happens or to announce who's coming up to the plate during the course of the game. Closer to this side, we have two other operators. One is for our video board. So the giant Duck Vision video board where we put up the headshots of players and our video before the team takes the field. That's where our video board operator operates all of that equipment from. And then the computer to his right is our ribbon board operator. So that's the bottom underneath the line score where we put up the names of everybody who's celebrating a birthday, the names of all the groups in attendance. You see the player stats. That's where that's all operated. Everything comes out of this room. And Jordan Schiff, who many of you probably met when you walked in, he kind of oversees the kids' club outside of this guy over here, who is the president of the kids' club. <laughs> Jordan is uh, our director of promotions and marketing. So he kind of controls everything. He kind of acts as our director during the course of the game, making sure everybody's sitting their spots, all the promotions are going well, and uh, the control room's not burning down, essentially. So we're good to go. Uh, all the kids, if you want, Make your way into the control room to see Jack, and we're going to have each one of you get a chance to play a sound effect. Just the kids. Come right here. Come right here. Right there. Okay, I'm right here. Just be careful, guys. Don't touch anything. You're free to look, though. But this computer over here is the one that I'm going to video for. So whatever they choose to put on the video board, you can do that. Okay? Get up there. Yeah. All right, so each one of you, just see Jack one by one, just create a single file on you. Each one of you play one sound effect and then come back out to mom and dad over here, okay? <laughs> what sound effects you play? It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to do, Also, the control room now, which is our promotion side, we're going to move to sort of my domain now, which is the media relations side of things. So this aspect of it, we have a department that handles any sort of liaison conversation with the media during the course of the game. News 12, Tuesday, we've had Sports Illustrated, ESPN, a lot of big time media outlets that have come out, especially this year, to cover what we're doing because we have... This year debuted a new partnership with Major League Baseball. So this year, the Atlantic League and Major League Baseball agreed into a three-year partnership, which included some of what we were already doing, which involved the transfer of players from our league to Major League Baseball organizations. That's still continuing. We've had a lot of new things that have never been done in, in professional baseball before this year. We're now using an automated ball strike zone in our games. It's called the ABS, Automated Ball Strike System. Basically, it means when the pitch comes in, freshly cut for the players. You don't want to have any bumps because that's how a player can trip. Right now they're not on, they were on a little bit earlier. What are we doing? They don't get to retire yet, otherwise, 